Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch and today I'm going to show you a quick little tutorial on how to make hair semi-transparent. So what you're going to want to do is have your model all set up. This is a commission model that I was working on. Um, and what you're going to see is, uh, for here I want these bangs right here, these few here transparent. And the rest I want normal. So I have this as the first material, but we're going to end up duplicating this material. So this is bottom one. I'm going to select it. I'm going to change the color just to like a yellowy so I can see that it's different. And I'm going to change it back after. I'm going to select all the hairs that I'm going to want to do this with. Alright, just like that. Um, yeah, I think the rest will be fine. I'm going to change the color back like that. And now we're going to export it. So I'm going to move the camera. Wait for the program to fucking load. Export. And now next you're going to go into Unity. And uh, in Unity you're going to need the uh, VRM, Uni VRM importer. Um, I'm still using point five three with Unity twenty nineteen point two point four F one. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Anyways, we're gonna import a model in. This will require um, a little bit of work in Clip Studio Paint or whatever paint program you have. So we're gonna open that up too while we're at it. Alright, so we're gonna bring her in here so we can get a get a good look. And then we're gonna go into our materials for her. And we're gonna find the second hair material. Which looks like it's this one. And they have like a transparent, which will transparency the whole thing, but we're gonna end up doing like transparent with Z. And then we're gonna go to the textures. I'm going to find the second texture, which was hair number four, if you remember from the materials. Uh, show an explorer. <clears throat> You'll get a window like this that pops up, which will have all of these textures in it. And you're going to take the one that's highlighted and yeet it in here. So I'm going to take a big, a big eraser, a big soft eraser. I'm gonna go gently down at the bottom here like this. Right, it goes like that. And a couple little taps. And then I'm just gonna hit the save button. It's going to update it in the folder we have. And that'll also update over here. And you can see how it's now slightly transparent. And we can make it even more so. We're gonna make it even more so. like that. Bam. And we're gonna come back in here. Oops, I forgot to save. And we're gonna save. We come back in here and even more so a bit is gone. So you can kind of see like it is wherever it's semi-transparent it still shows. So we can actually go back to here if we want. Another way to do this. And we can just take like say we want the bottom half. I'm just gonna do a and a paste and I'm gonna lower the opacity of this and then I'm gonna take the top one I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna kind of like give it a little bit of a blur and I'll take the top of this and give it a little bit of a blur I'm gonna bring that up a little bit more so now it is more transparent I'm gonna save this Oops. I'm gonna merge it and then we can save it and now we have it where it's like, like gradient transparency and like you can do this with the eraser brushes this is just how I do it this way uh, for a quick show show you what's going on so now you can see through the hair and you can do this with any of these textures down here and that's basically how you do a uh, transparent hair texture if you want to be able to see through it. 
Um, if this video has helped you out, I hope you'll give it a like, and I will see you in my next little tutorial. Alright, bye!